the most brutal king in the Bible. He executed the former king and his people. Hazael was anointed to be king of Syria by Elijah at the specific command of the Lord. 1 Kings 19, 15, Amplified Bible The Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king over Aram, Syria. Together, Hazael and Jehu were to serve as the instruments of judgment that God chose to use against Israel and the family of King Ahab, who had been so idolatrous and wicked throughout their reign. Hazael served as an official in the government under King Ben-Hadad. Ben-Hadad fell ill one day, and so he dispatched Hazael to meet the prophet Elisha, who was traveling to Damascus at the time. Elisha wept as he told Hazael that Ben-Hadad would die, but that Hazael would live. 2 Kings 8, 8-15, Amplified Bible And the king said to Hazael, Take a gift with you, and go to meet the man of God, and inquire of the Lord by him, saying, Will I recover from this illness? So Hazael went to meet Elisha, and took a gift with him of every good thing of Damascus, forty camels loads. And he came and stood before him, and said, Your son, Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, has sent me to you, asking, Will I recover from this illness? And Elisha said to him, Go, say to him, You will certainly recover. But the Lord has shown me that he will certainly die. Elisha stared steadily at Hazael until he was embarrassed, and then the man of God wept. Hazael said, Why are you weeping, my lord? He answered, Because I know the evil that you will do to the sons, descendants of Israel. You will set their strongholds on fire, kill their young men with the sword, smash their children to pieces, and rip up their pregnant women. Then Hazael said, Surely not, for what is your servant, who is nothing more than a dog, that he would do this monstrous thing? And Elisha answered, The Lord has shown me that you will be king over Aram. Then Hazael departed from Elisha and came to his master, who said to him, What did Elisha say to you? And he answered, He told me you would certainly recover. But the next day Hazael took the bedspread and dipped it in water and covered the king's face, so that he died. And Hazael became king in his place. The king certainly did recover, or would have, had not the wicked Hazael committed murder. By drawing an evil conclusion from Elisha's prophecy, Hazael was able to seize control of the kingdom and rule it to his own advantage. He gave in to the evil in his heart rather than using the announcement of the prophet as a wake-up call to investigate the evil within himself. As a result, he bears full responsibility for the actions he took as a direct result of his own free will. It may be asked if Elisha should have told Hazael this. Perhaps he set in motion a self-fulfilling prophecy and actually inspired the assassination of the king of Syria. However, there are many reasons for thinking that Elisha did exactly the right thing when he said this to Hazael. Elisha did not reveal how the king would pass away to Hazael. He did not reveal that he would be assassinated. Elisha did not tell Hazael how he would become Syria's next king, nor did he tell him to assassinate the king. Elisha went against his own compassionate and patriotic interests in telling Hazael this, making it more likely that he did it at God's prompting. Elisha perhaps hoped that this amazing prophecy would touch Hazael's heart and turn him away from the evil he would later commit against Israel. As it turned out, God knew the actions of Hazael, 
but he did not make Hazael do it. It was absolutely foretold that Hazael would be king of Syria. God foreknew the mischief that he would do when he came to the throne. Yet that foreknowledge did not in the least degree interfere with his free agency. Spurgeon Shortly after Hazael came to power, Joram, son of Ahab and Ahaziah of Judah, formed an alliance in order to fight against Hazael, and they travelled to do so. Joram, son of Ahab, ruled over the Israelite kingdom in the north, and Joram was just as corrupt as his father. His father was undoubtedly not the best role model for him. Ahab had led the people astray into the practice of idolatry, directing them away from the genuine God of their forefathers and toward the worship of Baal, the God of his wife Jezebel. The consequence of Ahab's choices carried into his son's reign. 2. Kings 9, 14-15, Amplified Bible So Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi, conspired against Joram to dethrone and kill him. Now Joram with all of Israel was protecting Ramoth-Gilead against Hazael, king of Aram, Syria. But King Joram had returned to Jezreel to heal from the wounds which the Aramaeans had inflicted on him when he fought with Hazael, king of Aram. So Jehu said, If this is your intent, let no one survive and leave the city, Ramoth-Gilead, to go and tell of the plan in Jezreel, the capital. As the Lord continued to bring judgment on Israel's religious infidelity and sin, he allowed Hazael to capture large swathes of Israel, overpowering the Israelites in those areas. 2 Kings 10, 32 So, in those days the Lord began to cut off portions of Israel. Hazael of Aram defeated them throughout the territory of Israel. As Hazael moved south, he eventually overran most of Ephraim and turned to attack the kingdom of Judah and the city of Jerusalem. 2 Kings 12, 17-18 Amplified Bible. Then Hazael, king of Aram, Syria, went up, fought against Gath in Philistia, and captured it. And Hazael resolved to go up to Jerusalem. King Joash of Judah sent the temple treasures as a tribute to Hazael, so that Hazael withdrew from the attack. For several years, Hazael was permitted by the Lord to continue to oppress Israel until, ultimately, King Jehoahaz of Israel turned back to the Lord and the Lord listened to his prayer. 2 Kings 13, 3-5 So the anger of the Lord was kindled and burned against Israel, and he handed them over time and again to Hazael, the king of Aram, Syria, and of Ben-Hadad, the son of Hazael. But Jehoahaz sought the favour of the Lord, and the Lord listened to him. For he saw the oppression of Israel, how the king of Aram oppressed them. Then the Lord gave Israel a saviour to rescue them and give them peace, so that they escaped from under the hand of the Aramaeans, and the sons, descendants of Israel, lived in their tents as before. As they turned in prayer, so the Lord was gracious to them and had compassion and showed concern for them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 2 Kings 13, 23, Amplified Bible But the Lord was gracious to them and had compassion on them and turned toward them for the sake of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and he was unwilling to destroy them, and did not cast them from his presence until now. Hazael died, and Jehoash, son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, was able to fight Hazael's son, Ben-Hadad, and win back much of Israel's territory. Hazael, king of Aram, Syria, died. Ben-Hadad, his son, became king in his place, 
Then Jehoash, Joash, the son of Jehoahaz, recovered from Ben-Hadad, the son of Hazael, the cities which he had taken from Jehoahaz, his father, by war. Three times Joash defeated Ben-Hadad and recovered the cities of Israel. Hazael was a great oppressor. 2 Kings 13, 22 Hazael the king of Aram oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoahaz. The prophet Amos also spoke against the family of Hazael for all his evil in attacking Israel, promising that Ben-Hadad's fortresses would be smashed. Amos 1, 4, Amplified Bible So I will send a fire of war, conquest and destruction upon the house of Hazael, and it shall devour the palaces and strongholds of Ben-Hadad, Hazael's son. Hazael was still responsible for his own actions in attacking God's people and seeking to subdue them, even though the Lord allowed Hazael to win many battles because it was his will to draw Israel back to repentance and true worship. However, despite the fact that Hazael began his leadership by betraying the confidence of his boss, he never stopped to consider the repercussions of his example. He couldn't have reasonably anticipated anything different from his people, could he? Individuals who do this may expect a haunting ripple effect.